animes, o Dios, o Patir, o Pantocrator, Panagatres, o Pinamen, Amin, O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Good evening, everybody. My name is Karen Fareed. I'm a member of the St. Mark's Coptic Church. I'd like to welcome all of you here this evening. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to, our, to you our beloved pastor, Father Abram, at this time. Father Abram holds a very dear place in the hearts of all his parishioners. He works un untiringly for his church in every respect. In addition to all the one-on-one -on -one personal assistance he gives to each of his flock, he is designing, planning, and overseeing the work being done to renovate the church structure, giving his people a new appreciation and pride in the way that the church appears. One of the greatest gifts Father Abram brings to his parish and to the entire neighborhood is his kindness and quick compassion and response to those in need. Equal to this is his burning desire to spread the word of God and to share our Coptic insights and Christian heritage to as many people as possible. Years ago, the first time Father Abram visited our home, he talked about his dream of to have an outreach ministry, and tonight marks another milestone in the fruition of that dream. I am so happy to introduce our beloved pastor, Father Abram Saliman. His Grace Bishop Suriel, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Ambassadors, and dear friends, it's a great honor and a pleasure to have you here with us tonight. Welcome to St. Mark Coptic Orthodox Church and welcome to this meeting. This meeting brings to my mind what has been mentioned in the book of Revelation. In his revelation, St. John saw a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, tribes, people, and tongues standing before the throne of God. We are here together, not for argument about religious topics, but for sharing with each other the love, the joy, the peace, and the happiness that we have in our hearts. I hope each one of you will enjoy the program for tonight. I would like to bring to your attention that you can write down any questions or comments and His Grace will answer them as much as time permits. I hope you will enjoy this night with the blessings of His Holiness Bush, Shunada the Third, Pope and the Patriarch of the Sea of St. Mark. Thanks for His Grace. Thanks to everyone who has assisted us for preparing for this night, and thank you for coming. part of our program presents our deacons, our church deacons. Um, I'm sure that everybody got a handout like this when they came in, all right? The handout contains some of the hymns that the deacons will be singing up until about page six. Would you please welcome our church deacons and uh, Coptic hymns. Thank you.
will be reciting some hymns from the pamphlet that um, most of you should have. And we're right now going to start on page four. And this hymn is called in Coptic, Evlogi Menos, uh, which is going to be chanted in English. And this is a hymn that is set on Palm Sunday, celebrating the triumphant entry of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, into Jerusalem.
Page six, we have the hymn, O Only Begotten, which is chanted on the sixth hour on Good Friday of Holy Week to celebrate the crucifixion of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Now from the same booklet on page five, um, excuse me, page seven, eight, and nine, our choir, our church choir, is going to be accompanied by Dave Cadella, and they're going to be singing some regular hymns that uh, you're probably more familiar with, more of um, a Western type of uh, Christian hymns. Would you please welcome our church choir?